and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video again. Today, we got quite quite a few amount, a bit, whatever you want to call it, of content right now. We got the Ghost of Madden present that just released. The foretold, we have the Master, the pieces for it. One of them being Patrick Mahomes, which is pretty awesome, as you guys saw by the title. We also get the Out of Position promo. That is finally here, too. And the Master for that, as you guys probably saw from the title, is Calvin Johnson Jr. Really great stuff. Really super excited to go over all this. We got new sets, new reroll stuff new store, new packs, we got plenty of new things to go over, plenty of new power-ups to, to be to be used now, like a Patrick Mahomes power-up that I've been saving for this, just for this day, I think I might make the switch over Lamar Jackson, it's a tough decision, but I think I'm gonna have to go for it, now guys, if you're new to the channel, if you guys already know, it's the 25 Days of Poodmas, we have started wrapping up the giveaways, we're at 45k now, all you gotta do to enter the 25 Days of Poodmas, usual procedure, all you gotta do is go down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then comment down below the secret word and your console, which is all the things you're entered to win, Good luck with all that, guys. Now it's 10.30, so it's back out of Ultimate Team. Let the servers refresh. Let everything come back in. There we go. I, I like I like when it does that little laggy in and out of Ultimate Team thing, because I feel like things are getting added when that happens. So, what's the over-under? Nothing's in the game yet. Probably very high. Let's go check this out. So, let's head on over to the sets and see if we have the Ghost of Madden sets. Zero chill. Ghost of Madden, there's two here. So we do have the Ghost of Madden present. The Master is J.J. Watt, which we kind of anticipated that would be happening after Muttley tweeted that out. So the set pieces are Patrick Mahomes, Todd Gurley, and Leighton Vander Esch. Now, J.J. Watt is a Master. Pretty cool. I don't think I'll end up getting him because in my past experience, I always feel like I never give J.J. Watt really good stats. That's just like always been Madden. He's never really crazy fast, which kind of hurts him because there's guys like Reggie White who are faster than him and can pass for just as well. Now, Gurley, Leighton Vander Esch, and Patrick Mahomes is definitely going to be a looker. I think I want all three of these cards. So, honestly, the set might be worth it for me. Let's click and see if any of them are up yet. Not yet. Mahomes. Not yet. That'd be pretty crazy if he's up ready. And let's see, Gurley. I don't think either, any of them are going to be up yet, but I do want all three of these cards. So I don't really want Gurley, but I'll definitely take him if I have to take him. I do want Mahomes. I do want Van Der Esch to keep my team. So, it might be worth actually doing this set and then just uh, quick selling Gurley or something and then selling Watt and getting my coins back. I will obviously go over that as we get into this now. Let's see the out of position players before we go into looking at price. So out of position, the out of position master is Calvin Johnson Jr. Now the cards that are in his set are Mike Evans out of position and Patrick um, Ricard for the, I believe Baltimore Ravens. So Calvin Johnson a 95 overall free safety. Now this doesn't excite me as much as other people. I've never been a fan of Calvin Johnson for safety. Don't get me wrong, if you use your safety, probably gonna be the best safety in Madden if you use him because he's six foot five. Great hands, great zone, great speed. But me personally, I let I use my linebacker. I let my safety roam free. So that's why I'd probably rather have like a Ronnie Lott or something. Let's see, is Mike Evans up yet? Is Patrick Ricard up yet? So he's going to take a little bit of time. So let's back out of this. Let's go check out the solos and we'll come back to these sets in just a minute when everything is up because I do want to show you guys all the prices and the stats of all these cards. But that will just take a quick little second. So let's head over to the play. And solos and see what we're rocking with here because definitely we definitely got some new solo challenges as I could imagine. Zero chill. A mutt Miss Carol. Follow the tale of mis miserly old Coach Scrooge as he learns the, the true meaning of mutt Miss. Now I imagine we got some new Snow Day ones, right? No. That's it. A mutt Miss Carol. So let's see what the rewards are looking like for this. 10 kindling per is what it's looking like plus coins. So that's not bad at all. Nice little 10 kindling. Let's see what the milestones are. What can we get at this point now? What are the max stars? So there's 66 here, there's 50 here. So we can get up to like about 116 stars, which means we're probably at about just below tier 7 gingerbread men. So there's still quite a while to go until we get to that 434 stars. So there's definitely a ton of solos still to come out. Now let's head over back to the set because I imagine at this point, well, let's go to the store first because we can get to the stats right after because it's going to take a little bit of time. They should be out at this point though, I'd imagine. But let's head over to the store. So they did just drop a zero chill fantasy bundle. So, how does this work? Contains with a 90 plus overall topper, zero chill fantasy packs. Honestly, a pretty enticing deal right here. Definitely kind of want, I kind of want to open these to be honest with you guys. But $100, kind of a stretch at this exact moment. I don't really feel like spending that with all the Christmas shopping I've been doing. But, not a bad bundle. Definitely interesting right there. Let's see what the zero chill offers are. The, let's see, let's see. So, 7,800 kindling for 194 goes to present. So, they're going to cost probably around like 300k. Each, that's so gonna be like 900k, and then if you could sell JJ Watt for like 
500k will probably cost you 400k for all three of them which is not a bad deal at all especially considering i want them so i'll probably end up doing that in my opinion i'll go over all that though in just a second let's head over back to the sets and i'll start checking out all these actually screw the sets let's head it over to the auction block and let's go check out all these cards let's start with the zero chill ghost of madden uh, present ones let's see those okay so todd Gurley, 334 is the cheapest of the bunch so far 90 speed, 90 excel, 93 agility, 92 carrying, 64 catching, 91 elusiveness, 90, 81 break trial, uh, 81 trucking, 93 break tackle. Guys, I don't think this card is great at all. What's it? Does he have a good stiff? Does he have a good something? The good word for today's video is tree. Comment down below the word tree. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your comments once you do all those things. Right, it's a win. Good luck. Do you have anything? Uh, 88 stiff arm, 92 juke, 83 spin. I don't think this card is all that great. I don't. My old Saquon Barkley is better than him. Everywhere. Wow. Marcus Allen isn't too far behind. Barry Sanders destroys this guy. Yeah, definitely not a fan of this Todd Gurley. Not going to be the move for me, I believe, at uh, running back. But let's search for us to see what the price has changed to. Okay, so Leighton Van Der Esch, He's actually someone I really do want. Let's compare him to my Von Miller. So, oh, he's a right outside linebacker. I thought he was a left outside linebacker. Ooh. I could put him out of position, though, which I might have to do. Von Miller, get your ass in here. They don't show up. They don't show that, do they? Okay, well, he's got the speed. I want it my, uh, where Von Miller plays. He got the excel, got the tackle, got the play rec, got the block shed. I don't care about his pass rushing. All I want is a good zone and decent 91 excel. I want good zone. If you have, if you can get 90 zone, Leighton Van Der Esch, you're on the team. If you can get 90 zone, 95 pursuit, you have a 79 zone. Why are you ass? Oh, God. I mean, he's definitely better than... He's be definitely better than Von Miller, but... Wow. Okay, now I don't know. This Va this Leighton Van Der Esch isn't all that great. He can't pass rush. His run stuff's okay. He's fast and tall, but his zone isn't that great. It can get into the 80s, which I guess is okay. But now I really don't know what the move is as far as Leighton Van Der Esch, or if I'm going to do the set. I got to obviously see about that and see if I can... I'll probably make a video about that if the set's worth doing. Now, check out Patrick Mahomes. He's a thinker now over Lamar Jackson. So, the speed is the biggest difference. Now, throw power, he destroys him in. Because uh, Mahomes powered up is going to get like a 98 throw power, 99 throw power. That's huge. Throw short is going to be mid-90s. Medium accuracy is going to be mid-90s. Deep accuracy is going to be mid-high 90s. Throw under pressure is close with Lamar Jackson. Throw on the run similar. And play action I could care less about because I don't do play actions. Now... The difference here between these two cards is going to be Dash and Deadeye. Patrick Mahomes just does get Dash and Deadeye and Escape Artist. So I think I might end up going Patrick Mahomes because he does get the Escape Artist. I love my Lamar Jackson, but at the time being, it might just be more worthwhile for me for now just to hold on to Lamar's power up and power up Patrick Mahomes because he's going to get all the passing stats. And to compete on weekly, you definitely need a lot of these passing stats. Lamar does air mail a lot of balls. And the Dash and Deadeye is the biggest part because on the run, because with the way the pass rushes this year, you definitely need to be able to make throws on the run. And you cannot always do that with guys like Lamar Jackson. Although I do love my Lamar. It'll probably save me from fumbling a lot because I am very run-oriented when it comes to having Lamar Jackson. Now, let's go to zero chill. Let's look at the new... Out of, oh, it's out of position, actually. That's why. It's like, why are a bunch of pieces showing up? Out of position. OOP. Okay, let's look at this. So, Calvin Johnson Jr., 611,000 coins as of now. Compared to my Brian Dawkins... He's faster. He's got 91 speed, 90 excel, 86 tackle, 92 play rec, 89 pursuit, 80 man, 94 zone, 87 hit power. I honestly, I still don't think he's that much of an upgrade over Dawkins. They both have the 90 play rec uh, threshold. Both have the man pretty much. Both have the pursuit threshold. Both have the zone threshold. Brian Dawkins still has the hit threshold and Calvin still doesn't. And the speed's not too far apart. The excel is about the only thing that bothers me a little bit there. But I still don't think this Calvin's that great. Honestly, guys, unless you're a user free safety kind of guy, won't be the move for me as far as going over and switching over for Calvin. Now, they did drop Landon middle linebacker. Let's look at these real quick. He's at 83 speed, 93 zone. I mean, 83 speed, 93 hit power. Great, great user linebacker right there. Josh Allen, good... Oh, God. I hate when that happens. Good speed. Good excel. Great pass rush. Not a bad card overall. Left outside linebacker. Honestly, wouldn't be the worst card for me either, but now that I think about it. Now, Joe Webb, wide receiver... 89 speed, 96 jumping, 90 spec. This is a really good wide receiver, actually. Not bad at all there. I'm not going to... I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I don't want to spend all day on these out-of-position cards. I want to get out of this video because I don't want to drag this too long for you guys. 
Taysom Hill tight end has a 90 speed. Now that guy is a budget beast right there. Oh yeah, I'm definitely picking up this Taysom Hill. He has 90 speed at tight end. He's going to be a monster with great catching stats. Let's see, Mike Evans, 93 overall cornerback. 90 speed, 92, 92 zone, 96 man, 88 press. Guys, this cornerback's kind they made they made good out of position cards for the first time ever. This is a good one. Six foot five cornerback. This is literally my this is this is Richard Sherman. This is Richard Sherman with speed. And then Patrick Ricard, defensive tackle. Good block shed. Finally. These cards finally have good stats. Because usually what they do is they give us cool names. They don't give us good stats regarding it. So my personal opinion, Taysom Hill, monster. Mike uh, Mike Evans, monster. And probably and and maybe Maybe Landon Collins. Those are the ones that I'd pick up. I think that you definitely want to take some hill on your team. Definitely a great one. Guys, I think that pretty much wraps up the majority of the content that did come out today. I hope this helps you guys out. I hope you guys were entertained by all this content. I hope this makes for a fun day of Madden. I definitely want to go start playing as soon as I'm done with this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to enter the 25 Days of Pood Miss. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below your console and the secret word once you do all those things. You are entered to win. Good luck. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace. <laughs>